know you may not be able to see me all that well, um, but I thought it would be foolish not to take advantage of my beautiful background here on the cruise. Um, and also my ears have popped so many times because I was sick traveling, so they just popped on the plane. And they popped again this morning, so I can't really hear out of this ear, so if I'm talking funny, I'm not really sick, I just have clogged ears. Um, so I thought I would do my December favorites out here um, on my deck. We are going on a cruise to Turks and Caicos. Puerto Rico, um, U.S. Virgin Islands, and there's one more, but I can't remember. Um, but I'm vlogging both on this channel, well, mostly on my Trisha's Life channel, but the underwater stuff is going to be on this channel. Um, so I'm really excited to share that all with you. Um, I'm going to edit these, obviously, when I get home and upload them because um, the internet's just really slow here, but that's okay because it's nice to just disconnect and be at one, and I get to wake up to this every morning, so how can I complain? So. I have a few favorites and I brought them all out here just to enjoy the water. We are at cruise day on the open sea, so it's uh, really exciting. So, um, okay, we'll just get right into my favorites. And you guys, these are my actual favorites because you know if I brought them with me traveling to Fort Lauderdale, traveling on a cruise for a week, you guys know I love these products. Um, so these are favorite, 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 favorites. I have a, quite a few beauty favorites. Um, just because these are kind of like my staple, and I was just like, I need these. Um, this one is new, but I love it so much. Um, I've used it most of the month of December, and definitely the only thing I've used for shadows on this cruise, and that is my Dior Holiday Eyeshadow Palette. And this is what it looks like. I just did, oh, I just got lost, okay. Um, I just did a um, Get Ready With Me with this uh, palette. It's beautiful, it has highlight and blush, uh, tons of eyeshadow. There's six eyeshadows and lip gloss, and it's a beautiful holiday pa palette. It's very shimmery, it has purples and blacks, and um, you can't really do a neutral eye, but I kind of did as best neutral as I can using just those purples right there and a little bit of that silver highlight, and I thought it was super pretty. Um, I haven't used the blush or the highlight yet because I have a other palette that I love for that, and that is this NARS one. I believe this was a holiday collection too. It's called Virtual Domination, and it is the cheek and... Um, cheap, just a cheap palette, I suppose, um, but it comes with three blushes, a bronzer, and a highlight, and um, this is Deep Throat, Sex Fantasy, and Miss Liberty, and then the bronzer is Laguna, which is their known bronzer, and then the little highlight right here, which is super pretty, but I really haven't used it all that much, but I've used this the whole month of December, and again, it looks like probably not, but I just got both these palettes in December, so probably doesn't look too used, but I swear I've been using them every single day. It's kind of annoying, I can't hear this right here, I kind of feel like... I'm echoing a little, or maybe I'm talking too loud, I don't know, sorry. Um, okay, and then the last makeup product, I have a few more beauty favorites, but the last makeup product is this palette again. I've been loving palettes when I travel, and it's the Too Faced Brow and I think this has been out for a while, but I really love this. I did forget my brow brush, um, but I've just used a shadow brush, and it's been okay. Um, but this is what that looks like, and they do come with little tweezers, comes with some wax, a blonde and brunette color, and a highlight. I really just use the blonde, but when I want more dramatic look, I will go with the brunette. And I really love this palette because um, you can use them as shadows. So if you did want a neutral look, you could use the highlight and the brown from this palette as a shadow, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, or I think it's kind of cool. Um, it is really, really beautiful. <laughs> it's like just all ocean. It's like gorgeous. I mean, the ocean, I live really close to my ocean at home, but it's just different looking at it out here. I don't know. And my room's right there. It's just really cool. I'm just really happy right now. <laughs> and I'm really excited to be sharing this with you guys because I wish you guys could all be here with me. Um, I have a shirt on that says Suns Out, Guns Out. I'll show you guys that in a minute. It's from 22 Jump Street. Um, my brother and I have matching ones, just saying. Um, okay, then we'll go on to a hair product. This is my like ultimate hair product. That's is my find of December. Um, this is called the Smooth Shine Polish and Instant Repair Hair Polisher with Aloe Vera Extra Strength, and it's for smooth conditions and shines. Um, concentrated formula with aloe vera. This makes hair soft, shiny, smooth, conditions and detangles dry, damaged hair, eliminates frizzies, and helps prevent breakage. I was just thinking, I hope you can actually hear me. I don't think it's like windy, but maybe the ocean? I don't know. Hopefully you can hear me. <laughs> um, if not, this will be all voiceover. Um, no, but I love this stuff, and I came across this at a CVS, actually, because I did not bring my hair oil with me, um, but honestly, this is like a lifesaver. I use really no heat on it, because it just kind of, it does smooth it out for you. So if you just like airbrush it, or um, I'm sorry, not airbrush it, brown brush it, and with a dryer, and then just put this in after, it really smooths it out. You really don't need a flattener. And I got this, and I know this is going to sound... I didn't sound bad, but I actually got this, and not, 
it's it's not bad because it's just it's just a fact. I got this in the ethnic like hair aisle, and usually I'm not one to like be worried to say that, but YouTube lately has been so sensitive to everything, so I'm just saying it's not in like with all the generic hair style. I think that's weird why it wouldn't be, but it's kind of like in its own section at CVS for like I said, it's more for ethnic hairs, um, just because. You know, ethnic hair is more coarse, but my hair is more like ethnic hair. In fact, I think that's why a lot of people thought I was like mixed growing up because my hair used to be really thick and coarse, and it kind of had that same texture. Um, and you guys know what I'm talking about. There's just different. It's just different. You know what I mean? Um, but their stuff is really amazing. If you have dry, brittle, broke, like broken hair like mine, it really just helps strengthen it, and I love it. And it does like it just it does like just smooth it out. I'm just so impressed by it. Especially with like the Florida weather, my hair was like going crazy and I just absolutely love this stuff and I'll probably just have this as the only thing I ever use when I get home. Um, but yeah, that was amazing. I'm like really excited about that. Um, okay, and then for shower stuff, I, well, this is really shower. Okay, well obviously my exfoliate, well, I don't know if that's obvious, but I've been loving my Trish um, exfoliating body polish and I know it's like so cliche because it's mine, which by the way, this would be a perfect ad for my Trish exfoliating body polish. Get away on an escape with this. No, <laughs> just kidding. Um, no, but I brought this with me, and I'm so glad I did because my skin, again, has been getting kind of dry. Something with the, I don't know, saltiness or something has made my skin really, like, kind of dry and, like, flaky. But honestly, I've been using this for my exfoliating. Oh, my gosh. Like, it is so amazing. My skin feels so smooth. And I, even my hands, is, well, my hands I attribute to this, but, like, my arms, my legs, everything is so smooth and it's so wonderful. And meanwhile, everyone else is like, oh, my gosh, my skin's, like, flaky. I don't know why, but I was like, I need you guys to try this for real. I was like, this is it. So if you have, it's for all skin types, but if you notice a lot of, like, peeling or dryness of your skin, this will be really great to help get that dead skin off and like just rejuvenate your skin. Um, I love it. I loved it back home, but I didn't realize how like effective it was until I got here and I just love this stuff. And on that same dry skin route, um, I picked up this actually um, for my brother before because he had chapped hands. So I knew this was, well, I heard this was well, that worked well, the Jack Black Industrial Strength Hand Healer. And so, um, I got it for my brother originally, but again, my hands were getting dry here, so I kind of just like stole it back a little bit. I was like, I could do some more, don't worry. Um, but we are like next door, so I can literally like just toss it over to him. Um, but honestly, this stuff too, really just soothing, it heals your hands. So again, if you're having chapped hands, dry hands, this is like really great, and I love it so much. And Sephora is where I got that. And then this I found on the cruise. It's duty free shopping on the cruise since we are in international waters. And I got this, and um, only because I really didn't have a few with me. And it's the Bot Bottega Veneta Knot. And it just looks like this and has a little knot right there. And okay, this is like a scent that my brother's like, I don't know if I like that scent. I really like it. I don't know. To me, it's very like ocean y. <laughs> it's very. Uh, maybe almost a little musky. It's very, I don't know. It's maybe like a musk, I think. And that's not everyone's favorite scent. And it's definitely like an acquired, I think, but just, I don't know, just being out here, I just feel like more adventurous. And it's definitely not a scent I would normally go for, but it is very like oceanic, musk, I don't know, almost a little like wet towel-y, but in a good way, like wet towel, like with flowers blossoming out of it, I don't know really good you kind of just have to smell it I wouldn't say just go buy it but it's it's pretty good actually it's really good I love it a lot but maybe again it's just my setting I honestly feel like that ocean's louder than me is it I really hope not because I really love this background it's so pretty um okay um then I have some random favorites one being my phone case I get compliments on this every single place I go this was in my holiday gift guide but honestly everybody loves this case um, right now it's shaken up because it was upside down but as you can see it's all falling and it'll all come to the bottom so you can see the color of your phone but I just got this off Amazon and everyone gives me compliments on it and I'm like I'm, I'm obsessed now I can never like change this out because I've never gotten more compliments on a phone case ever in my life um, so this is definitely a favorite uh, and then this I'm really excited about um, I didn't really bring too many like designer things with me on the, on the cruise because um, you know just safety and don't want things getting dirty so um i ended up 
remember doing this. This was like the only thing, because this is my wallet that I use back home. But what I really liked about this was not only was it my wallet, but it also turned into like a chain purse. So you have dinner nights on cruise where you dress up and go to dinner, and it's pretty much every night you dress up and go to dinner, and then there's formal nights. I thought this is just like the perfect little bag. It can hold everything, my camera, my card, it has my wallet, and then it has my, my it has this for like a purse. So it was kind of like, the perfect thing for me and I love this and it's my wallet back home so it's I don't know this was a good investment piece for sure um, okay just a couple more things these are definitely cruise items but I thought I'd show you guys anyways even though it's December probably freezing where most people are at um, this is my Victoria's Secret swimsuit and I love this. This is so like neon and like, ah, uh, it's so cute. And the back just ties like bra straps. It's really sexy in the back actually. Um, it ties like that. And then I have another one down here that ties the same way. It's just really sexy and like really, I think, flattering. These are the bottoms that go with it. And uh, it's just, I don't know, again, I just like the bottoms. I think they're like super duper sexy. And I don't know, I thought it was, thought it was exciting. which would be great because in Puerto Rico, I'm not going on an excursion. I'm just going to be walking around with my dad and his wife. And so I thought this was kind of perfect to have to keep the sun out of my face because, again, I'm not really, um, can't really be in the sun anymore. So it's going to be nice to keep the sun out of my face while I'm walking. Okay, my ultimate favorite thing I have watched literally, and I am not kidding, five times since three days ago, five times in three days, I have watched this movie on the plane, at night on the ship, I absolutely love it, and that is the Phantom of the Opera, and it's really, really dark, so you probably can't see it, but I absolutely love this movie. I've always loved this movie, but just lately again, I have been obsessed with it in the music, and I want to do a song and a video inspired by Phantom of the Opera because I just... I just love it so, so much. It's just such a good movie. It came out so long ago, but Gerard Butler plays the Phantom, and he's amazing. And um, I absolutely love it. Like, you guys, I can't even get enough of it. I was like, that has to be a favorite because I just can't get enough of it. And then the other things are entertainment as well for traveling, because obviously I've been traveling a lot. And um, that is this book, Stephen King, Dr. Sleep. And I'm only, like, halfway through this book, but it is by far one of my favorite Stephen King books ever. I would say top five for sure already and that's a big deal i would say probably top three even i love misery and i love secret window but this one this one might be a close one to those two these this one's really really good it's it came out i think a couple of years ago i don't think it's as new as some of his ones but if you like the shining it's sort of um a continuation it has the same characters as it so it's kind of like it is like a continuation of that book and uh, it's really it's really interesting. I don't know. I, I never actually read the book, The Shining. I saw the movie. So, but like, it's it's cool to pick up with this, and it's a really thick book. So, your imagination just runs crazy with it. Like I said, I'm only halfway through, but I like love it. Um, I don't want to give any spoilers. But um, then these these are my wireless Beats, and I am obsessed with these. Um, saved my life so many times. Like I was wearing around my neck like one of those people in the airport because I was like obsessed with them. Um, but they're so great because like on the plane you don't have to deal with wires, and then like. If you're traveling or walking or picking up your bag, you don't really have any mess. It's just on your head and you can still listen to your music. So I'm obsessed with these. I don't know why I didn't get these sooner. Well, I think they're new. So that's why I didn't get them sooner. Then these shoes, these are my Nike Air Shocks. These are actually what I traveled in and I also bought, brought them to, we're going to be doing a dancing class in like an hour. I brought them to like work out and do like cardio stuff on the cruise. And I absolutely love them. They're so comfortable. They're just called Nike Air Shocks Air Max. And I love them. I've gotten like a few compliments on these too, and I'm really surprised. I'm like, they're just black kind of shoes, but they're my most comfortable shoe, more comfortable than my Asics. Um, and then here's my shirt, and it says "Suns Out, Guns Out," and it's the one Channing Tatum wore in 22 Jump Street. And I found it on Etsy because my brother actually wanted it first, and so I was looking for a um, like a gift for him, and I was like, I love it too, so I got it. And actually, these I should mention. <laughs> Um, they're on my feet now, but another one's on my foot. These are the locals, and if you ever go to Hawaii, my mom picked these up for me. These are my flip flops that I've literally worn for the past probably to Hawaii in August. So since August, I've been wearing these flip flops, and they're so comfortable. And they haven't broken yet, and I've been wearing them this whole time, so I thought I'd just mention those too. Um, but yeah, and of course, the cruise, the Atlantic Ocean, um, which we might be going into the Caribbean Sea pretty soon. So I don't really know. Well, I guess this is the Atlantic Ocean since we're traveling, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, 
I hope you guys enjoyed these are some of the favorites. I hope you could hear them. Um, <laughs> but I figured it was a little more scenic than just my room, and I thought it was really fun to take advantage of it. So, anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for being here all year around. This is the last favorites of 2014. So excited for 2015, and what a way to end this year. Um, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for my 1 million subscribers this year. I love you so much, and I want to say hi to Rick Moran. I'm just looks like here with kissies for my little baby face. Bye, guys.